Okay, the Goshute Indian people are survivors, wrote the historian Dennis Deffa. They outlasted the unjust epithets, the lies, and the outright barbarity of the white invaders. All right, statement from Bagley. Uh, the beatings, skirmishes, and ambushes that Utah settlers habitually inflicted on native peoples had not relented since 1849. Beating them, skirmishes or fights, ambushes on them, killing them. All right, another disturbing uh, statement by Bagley. Utah leaders had long since decided to draw borders around native peoples, put them in reservations, et cetera, and then shrink the reservations. They wanted to segregate them compel the dependent Lamanites to become white and delightsome and exterminate all who would all who would resist. And uh, in Bailey's book, it talks about uh, the Latter-day Saints purchasing Native American children. <laughs> and uh, of course, they made the arguments that it was for their own good. So Isaac Morley uh, testified that Latter-day Saints purchased Native children, this is basically slavery, indentured servitude, purchased Native children to save them from misery, starvation, cruelty, and death, which was echoed by Brigham Young, who claimed that citizens bought the Indians to obtain their liberty <laughs> and to save them from starvation, abuse, and even death. Uh, conflict in terms there, right? Citizens or Mormons bought the Indians to obtain their liberty. So now that they're indentured servants, now they have liberty and freedom. That sounds like something Orwell would say, right? So Brigham Young was not against slavery, either for blacks or for Indians. Uh, the Mormon legislature passed laws regulating slavery Utah was the only part of the Mexican session open to black slavery. <clears throat> well, Brigham Young was open to the idea of black slavery and, and by extension, Indian slavery. As governor, Brigham Young believed that the Bible justified slavery and polygamy and so enforced the Fugitive Slave Act. All right, uh, statement from Brigham Young here in 1852. This can be found in John G. Turner's book, Brigham Young, Pioneer Prophet, which came out in 2012, an excellent book. Uh, in 1852, Brigham Young said, I am a firm believer in slavery. And inasmuch as I believe in the Bible, inasmuch as, as I believe in the ordinances of God, in the priesthood and order and decrees of God, I must believe in slavery because of course slavery was okay in the Bible, right? So he says, yeah, I believe in the Bible. I believe in the ordinances of God and therefore I believe in slavery. <laughs> I am a firm believer in slavery. And you can look at the, uh, the meme above uh, for a little bit more context uh, for this quote. All right. Uh, an article in the Atlantic Monthly, 1859, says that in 1858, Utah had several hundred Indians held in servitude. So more, Utah Mormons uh, held several hundred Indians in servitude, indentured servants or basically uh, slaves that would work around the house, take care of the house, um, engage in, in farming, and, uh, you know, growing uh, their food, etc. Okay, statement from Commissioner Luke Lea. Many Shoshone chiefs were invited to a treaty ceremony. They declined, believing that it was a trap set by the Mormons to kill them. 